Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. And here we have Real Madrid against Barcelona. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. And so the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. Look at them now. Underway. Well, this is intense. They talk about it for months, they remember it for years. It matters almost too much when Barca and Real collide. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Well, the very exciting Antoine Griezmann. Uh, he has an impeccable first touch, and with the ball under control, he can use as many skills and, and swift changes of direction in, in running from out to in. And he wreaks havoc. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too, that wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass it. Only needed just a little bit more behind it, and he was through. Nicely controlled. And it's Tony Kroos. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Daniel Carvajal gets his final warning. Yeah, and he's just entered the last chance saloon. One wrong move now, and he's in trouble. Griezmann, and the flag has stayed down. Fair attempt, just the wrong outcome. to get it away now the pass Benzema Sergio Busquets has been caught there it's a foul the referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket it's just a stern lecture
That's a fine save. Well, what a tester for the goalkeeper because it was struck with real venom and I thought he dealt with it really well. Tries a through ball. That's always going to be the keepers. Barcelona are experts at this stylish possession-based game. Well, we're talking tiki-taka, uh, a lot of short, crisp passing, and, and once the ball is lost, they quickly try to win it back. Now it's Azar. There's the cross. No, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Real Madrid had players queuing in the box in that situation, and they've still got nothing to show for it. What a complete and utter waste. Modric. Rafael Varan. Gets into the right position to intercept. Plays it out to the wing. He slid it through. He's there to get rid. Dinks one in. Turns and goes back. Marcelo. Benzema. Passes it through. It's a good-looking cross, another header, but again the same outcome. How hard can it be to time a jump with the right contact? It's not that difficult, is it? Griezmann needed to come up with a better ball. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Looks like a good ball through. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Defence has got rid of that. Lobs it in gently. Griezmann, he's onside. Out wide to the right. And it's Busquets. Disappointing finish in the end. Yeah, we, we love a trier, Peter, but it has to be a far greater quality to beat the keeper from there. Daniel Carvajal. Now it's Benzema. Looks to slip it through. Keeps everyone guessing. Looking for a decent ball in. Cruz. Pumps it upfield. Put a stop to that. Daniel Carvajal is making a foray down the right. Chip through. And the finish! Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. Oh, such a good ball to get him through. Showed real vision and awareness then in trying to pick him out. Modric shakes the shoots. What a wonderful goal! 
Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half-time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tonic. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now, that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Real Madrid take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Modric with the ball through. Azar looking to get on the end of this. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Good, strong hand by the keeper. Modric. Hazard gets flagged offside. And the half-time whistle goes. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Real Madrid having to have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. That's the start of another 45 minutes. Real Madrid carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Marcelo. And it's Azar. Azar is steaming forward. He's looking unstoppable here. It's anyone's ball. Well, we were unlikely to see a goal then because there were so many players crowding out that danger area. I think something very special was going to be needed. Who's going to make this theirs? Luis Suarez tries looking up for options on the left. And out to safety. It's a throw. Casemiro, Tony Kroos. Rakitic. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Try to play it through. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. Benzema. Hazard. Going full steam ahead down the left flank. Oh, he's come up against the brick wall there. And it's Azar. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Modric. Sergio Busquets gets it back. Wonderful quick feet. Chance. He's off on a marauding run. Tries to get it forward quickly. He ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. Now it's Azar.
Is there any support? He might not need it. Spoon forward. That's up. And the counter is on. PK. So, Jim, what are you thinking? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. Griezmann. Well, it looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man now. Aimed long and direct. And it's Griezmann. Griezmann plays it out to the flank. Marcelo battles to win it back. Tony Kroos set up one goal so far. Caught him there, it's a free kick. <laughs> Clears it out of harm's way. Tony Kroos tries the route one option. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Vidal, Griezmann, Real Madrid just have to run down the clock. That looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Marcelo gets it away. And it's Rakitic. Modric. Azar. Looking to penetrate opposition lines. Hazard goes through the middle, and the ball's come out. Rakitic pumps it upfield. Cruz. That'll be a throw in. Change here. There's a man waiting to come on. And it's Griezmann. Spoon forward. And that's it. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. The end of the game. Reflections. Real Madrid made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.
Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And here we have Barcelona against Real Madrid. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beckley. Hello, Peter, and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. And so the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. the lineups for this game Well, you can feel the sense of occasion here. El Clasico, one of world football's great occasions. No rivalry more intense. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? A guy born to be a footballer, Luka Modric, always thinking about his next move due to the fact his, his technical ability is so strong, astute and intelligent. He's, um, he's such a telling passer. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Ter Stegen chooses to deal with it himself. And it's Jordi Alba. Daniel Carvajal tries the route one option. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Good defending, he knew he had to stop it right there. He's done very well to get to that. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. They've played it short. Tony Kroos cuts it back. Oh, that's not going to find its target. Shot at goal! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter, and I think his instincts were, well, they were just razor sharp. I just really like the way they've started with such intensity, Peter. Now it's Hazard. He's had a go! It's a loose ball. He's got away with one there. Well, I think you can only praise that sort of alertness and the way he almost knew what was going to happen, and he got there really early. That was top stuff for me. It's been such a promising start. These early attempts have really set the tone for this game. That's how you approach it. Promising cross. Oh, no, it's an own goal! Well, that wasn't in the script, and you have to feel for him, Peter. It's ended in uh, some embarrassment. Well, 
who saw that coming. It has certainly made things interesting. Listen, sometimes you need that little bit of luck in games like these. Azar passes it through. Firmly met. He's going to have to tune his range finder before the next one. Out to the left it goes. And he's onside. Jordi Alba. Where to from here? Now it's Griezmann. Messi. Marcelo gets it away. Crunching tackle. Benzema. Thrust towards the front line. Courtois gets it upfield. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Real Madrid have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Casemiro. Who's going to make this theirs? And it's Carvajal. Daniel Carvajal plays a clever pass. Barcelona were gifted an own goal to make it 1 0. Messi. Casemiro pumps it upfield, and the counter is on. Barcelona are ahead here, it has been a good half for them. And it's Rakitic. Rakitic can't hurt you with his back to goal and whistle's gone, that's a foul. And for a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Sergio Busquets plays it out to the wing. Amount of room for debate here, but a goal kick's been given. And spoon forward. Looks to thread it through. Done very well to intervene. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. The first 45 minutes are up. Well, every now and again we get a bit lucky, Peter, don't we? And this is an absolute treat. A tremendous spectacle for the neutrals, but a bit of a nightmare for the fans and two managers. Barcelona in for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. <laughs> and we're off again. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Casemiro gets it back. Bale tries lifting it over. Has a pop! Goal! Real Madrid! Well, listen, the writing was on the wall. It looked like this was going to happen, and it has. Benzema simply wasn't going to decline an invitation like that. He knows that they've got the passers in this side that will find them. And his job was just to make sure he didn't stray offside. And it worked an absolute treat.
And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. It's a long forward pass. Azar looks to slip it through. Now it's Benzema. Benzema unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Has gone out. PK. Casemiro with a long pass out wide. Bale drills one in. Corner it is. And the volley. It's come loose. He'll have a dip. Great effort, beautifully taken. Marcelo did exceptionally well to control that and get the shot away while he still had just enough room and he generated excellent power too. That should encourage another effort or two. Rakitic is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, they know he's the... Re Daniel Carvajal with the foul. Oh, that's a booking, always looked it. Jordi Alba. Rakitic tries a through ball good challenge he just stood firm Bale battles to win it back Barcelona have a free kick Jordi Alba who saw this coming Barcelona are hurt by just about the final punch. Casemiro gets it back. Casemiro is the guilty party there. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Well, that was coming, Peter. You know, he was on a final warning, after all. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. <laughs> Messi away from immediate danger. Now it's Messi. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Goal! Barcelona! And they get themselves in front! Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Barcelona take the lead. 
Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. Hoists it high. Oh, good interception. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Nicely controlled. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Bale. Oh, that's not going to make it. Benzema. Oh, they're guilty of lacking inventiveness here, it's all broken down. That's good progress he's made on the ball, where to next? Loose ball, who's going to get there? And it's Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba plays it backwards, and they'll try again. And that would have been game, set and match. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game then, that's really good positioning. They could have doubled their lead there. Tony Kroos, Sergio Busquets, did well to step in there, that was more than necessary. Benzema, Tony Kroos, Azar looking to get on the end of this. Gets up to head it! Harmlessly behind. Well, that's an illustration of how good they are on the break. I mean, all the pace and power needed to go at it with, with real vigour then. Vidal. Rakitic, Benzema, Tony Kroos, Bale. And it's Messi. Rakitic. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Forward it goes. Some stupid defending to ensure they got no further. Griezmann. Confirmation that there will be four minutes stoppage time. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Whistle's gone and they've got themselves a free kick. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Messi looking to play it into the box. Barcelona have decided now is the time to make their final change. Is it out of harm's way? Looks like a good ball through. That wasn't easy. Oh, much more than a than a routine. And that will be the final act. Barcelona win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it. Perhaps a draw would have felt fairer. But that's the game, and they have won it at the margin. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Barcelona made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.